the truth. Hey guys, what's up, Dream Machine? Say I'm back with season three of New England Patriots Rebuild. Uh, we built a pretty decent team up to this point. Uh, now I think we just have to piece it together. 85 overall, all across the board. So let's get into the team. Let's take a look at what we have in store. Zach Wilson and Dwayne Haskins are our returning QBs. Jonathan Taylor, Jamal Williams, Damian Harris are our running backs. They're going to split ties. Uh, hopefully we can have a little bit more success with Jonathan Taylor in here. Odell Beckham, Kenny Galladay, Russell Gage, Terrence Marshall, and Auden Tate are our receivers. Uh, Terrence Marshall is going to be up a little bit more. Trying to get him developed just a tad more. So, I don't know why I'm tired all of a sudden. Whatever. Juan Reddick, Brevin Jordan, and Mark Andrews are our tight ends. We brought in two rookies, Richard and Colbert. Owenu is going to slide back in to right guard. James Daniels is going to slide into center. And Wynn is going to stay out on that left guard, left tackle position. So, Chase Winovic, Ionitis. Cox and Gary round out the starting defensive group. Tim Settle, B.J. Hill are backup defensive tackles. Menehu, McKinley, Harper, and Shaq Griffin are backup edge rushers. Shaq Griffin is also listed as a left outside linebacker because you can't change him because for some fucking reason. Um, Gilmore, Sidney Jones, and Herndon are our 1, 3, and 5 corners. J.C. Jackson, Tavares Sword are our 2 and 4. Terrell Bridges, Cameron Curl, and Jordan Fuller are our strong safeties. Warner, Duggar, and Mosley are our free safeties. Galloway, Anzalone, Bonds, Brooks, Walker, Joel, Hale, and Griffin are our linebackers. They're going to be moving around to different positions depending on how I need them. So, don't really feel like defining them as one position or the other. I just had a big-ass yawn. I don't know why. I fucking hate my body. I'm just kidding. But, uh, oh well. Uh, for most of the specialist positions, it's just going to be best available for the most part, besides, of course, slot receiver and, uh, of course, slot corner because, you know, we can't be fucking throwing out goddamn, uh, Gilmore in the slot. Plus, the Cox, we are going to resign to a three year deal. We have still over 100 million after signing him, so there's no point in not signing him, especially since I didn't. Wasn't thinking he was just going to be a one-year rental. I didn't want him to be just a one-year rental. Uh, Matt Ioannidis, we're also going to resign. These two guys hopefully can anchor that defensive line for the next three years. Rashawn Gary gets a contract. He's becoming one of the top-paid edge rushers. He's been developing really well. Winovic also gets resigned. Jake Bailey gets resigned. Just a lot of people get resigned. Um, Damian Harris gets resigned. I had a little bit of money, and I like him enough. If he was a 70 receiving back, he could be great. I honestly think he could. But with us not making the playoffs, it kind of makes me look back on all those signings and go, what am I paying you guys money for? So, you know. Ended up going 8-8. Eight and eight, So, that sucks. But, hey, you know, what are you going to do? Zach Wilson, 4,200 yards, 33 touchdowns, 12 kicks. And a 63% completion percentage. Jonathan Taylor with 800 yards, 3.7 yard average, 3 touchdowns. John, Jamal Williams with 300 yards, 8 touchdowns. Damian Harris with 27 yards, 2 touchdowns. So, not good. Really, really not good. Uh, I don't know really what else to say. So, we're going to have to go out and get a running back at some point, I think. Marshall and Odell going over 1,000 yards. 9 touchdowns for Marshall, 5 for Beckham. Six for Andrews, seven for Galladay, two for Taylor, seven hundred yards for Galladay, almost eight hundred yards for Galladay, and eight hundred yards, just a little over eight hundred yards for Mark Andrews. So, uh, our receiving group definitely played well, and I I enjoy that because that shows to me that Zach Wilson and them have chemistry and they can push the ball. And uh, so, Galloway and Brooks with over one hundred twenty tackles, Joe Warner with a hundred. Tugs for loss. We're going to look here. 16 for Cox. 15 for Ioannidis. 13 for Winovich. 10 for Gary. 9 for Galloway. 
Six for Burgess and five for Brooks. So, not bad. Sacks, 12.5 for Winovich. Nine and a half for Cox, four and a half for Brooks, three for Galloway, two and a half for Gary, two for Ionitis, and two for BJ Hill. McKinley also jumped in there with one and a half. Gilmore, Jones, and Jackson all hop in for 0.5 as well. Interceptions, Burgess with four, two for Galloway, two for Gilmore, one for Brooks, and one for Joe Warner. So they stopped throwing towards JC Jackson. That's probably a smart move, um, to be honest. <laughs> Terrell Burgess. Uh, Gilmore, Warner, and Jackson, all forced fumbles, all pick up their own fumble recoveries, it looks like. Or who knows, they could have each picked up each other's. Two blocked kicks, no safeties, and I forget if there was a touchdown. I'm pretty sure there was. No, yeah, one for Gilmore. So, Kicking, Will Lutz went 42 of 44 for extra points. One got blocked, he missed one, and then he went 18 for 21, so not terrible. He's definitely a better kicker than the Patriots have had. 50-yard uh, average for Jake Bailey, 11 inside the 20. That's good. Down on touchbacks as well. No kick or punt returns this year as well. Zach Wilson at 6 for MVP. Uh, Coach of the year did not make it. Offensive player of the year. Somehow Zach Wilson went down. Defensive player of the year. Galloway at 2. Wish he would have went to 1. He could have moved up to X-Factor, Jordan Brooks at 9, Offensive Rookie of the Year, nobody, Defensive Rookie of the Year, Joe Warner at 1, hopefully he can get his star dev. If not, it's going to take him a while to develop, so hopefully he can get that star dev. Uh, Jason Hill at fullback, makes the play, Pro Bowl. Winovich makes the Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl. Cox makes the Pro Bowl, uh, Jordan Brooks makes the Pro Bowl, Galloway makes the Pro Bowl, Warner makes the Pro Bowl, Burgess makes the Pro Bowl, so we had multiple guys making the Pro Bowl, so hopefully that translates into some dev traits and some high amounts of XP. Charles Amenehue, I have the money right now, I'm going to bring him in, he's going to be a no cap penalty type of contract, so if we need to trade him away at any point I can. Josh Jacobs, Bobby Okariki are getting contracts. I want both of them. These can be substantial upgrades. Substantial upgrades. Uh, and then everybody else is just getting 550k contracts. Most of you guys are defense backs, a couple backup running backs, some edge rushers, stuff like that. Pieces that we need or pieces that can be, that will replace somebody. So Let's just get into it, I guess. Um, so, and then looking at, who, who's this? I didn't even fucking see the name. I forgot who this, this is. Who is this? Um, Brooks. Oh, yep, Jordan Brooks. Sorry. Yep, Jordan Brooks. I would love to pick up his fifth-year option, but I don't think he's a top-ten linebacker. Um, also, can we please fucking fix contract negotiations? I think it's n next season. Um... I, I have, I think, Jordan Brooks at outside linebacker because I bring in somebody else. I'm not going to spoil it yet. Uh, we do pick Taylor Holt, another safety. We're going to bring him in and see what he can do for us. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. I pick so many fucking safeties in this rebuild, it's not even funny. Um, we do end up trading the 13 pick for a second and fourth. Then we trade two fourths and Joel for a second. Uh, I don't like taking guys early. Uh, that's another thing I don't like doing. I don't like overpaying guys because the earlier you do take somebody, the more money you have to pay them. So we're going to take Javier Wilkerson. He's not great. He's a speed rusher, so he's not going to be design fit for us, but he will be good. Alton Coakley, I thought he could be a good receiving back. Apparently, he's just elusive. I don't like that. Um, I kind of miss Madden 20 for that reason. Now, receiving backs were overpowered in Madden 20, but hey, uh, we are going to trade away this pick as well. I think somebody that I wanted went away. But when I was doing contract negotiations with Jordan Brooks, it wouldn't be paying him 17 fucking million a year for an 83 outside backer. Can we please make it make a difference between edge rusher and a stand-up outside backer? There's a big difference. Just because you're an outside backer in a 3-4, basically meaning Khalil Mack or TJ Watt, does not mean you're the same thing as a three as a 4-3 stand-up outside backer as a weak side backer. Okay? Let's make that clear. So, overall the draft was okay. 
Uh, I don't think any of these guys are going to be stars in the team, but here's the big trade. Damian Harris, Anzalone, and Tittman set, settle for Simmons, Lewis, and Reader. Reader and Lewis are both just cap guys. Jordan Fuller and Kenny Robinson are heading to the Cowboys for a first and cap clear. Um, Curl, Duggar, and Williams are all heading to the Vikings for a first. Some of these guys were coming off contracts like Curl, like Duggar, like um, some other guys. Williams I just didn't need anymore. Redder, Reader is going to the Rams, so we ended up flipping him. Damian Lewis was about to come off contracts, so we ended up trading him to the Bears for a fourth round pick. Um, Lewis, we traded for, uh, we got a first round pick and a third round pick, and then we traded those to Tampa for Shaquille Barrett. Javier, uh, no, it's not Javier. It's just, I don't know. Is it Javier? Yeah. Uh, Taylor Holt. But that being said, guys, if you guys enjoy my content at all, uh, support my content at all, appreciate my content content at all, let me know down below. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Turn on post notifications if you guys want to be notified anytime I post something. Charles Menahue to the Vikings as well for a fourth. Um, I appreciate the support. Uh, views have been insane, as you guys can see on the screen here. But that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, oh, oh.